Hey, welcome to today's video. Today, this is a combining video. We are combining 3D printing, RC planes, drones, FPV drones, electronics, Arduino, uh, yeah, multiple other things, soldering, uh, programming. Uh, yes, this is a fun project. And now you are asking what the hell he talks about. And I have built a thrust stand. A really simple one, but it is working amazing. Of course, I have tested it and it works fantastic. Much better, I have to say that I thought, yeah, this will be so... Uh, uh approximately but no really it's super precise and you will see it in a moment what have i done or oh, first i should say first i i tried to buy one but hell yeah they are so expensive yes they can do much more they can measure torque efficiency and and so many other things but i really only was interested in thrust and a little bit of weight, weight of a motor, weight of a prop and I achieved that and yes I cannot measure torque or efficiency or such things but that was not my main goal and comparing it the professionals began I asked different companies and they started at 2000 euros up to 8000 yes <laughs> They are amazing and they have a, a, a beautiful software etc etc but that was not in my budget yeah so I had to build my own and I did it I designed a little box also a protector <laughs> I learned that during the toroidal prop uh, experiences that props can explode sometimes really fast without telling you that they are exploding in a second. No, they do explode. Today we are not testing toroidals, maybe one of my specials. So before this video is 10 minutes and you have not seen the actual thrust stand let me jump to the thrust stand explain you a few things and then we do of course measurements if you have questions please write it down in the comments i try uh, to to list all the components in the description and also the project of course is on printables and there will be links to the components too maybe i'm missing something then please ask and don't forget the 1k the 1000 follower giveaway there is a quizzy quizzes this new thing on the community page so if you're following and i hope you do go to the community page after you watch the video or can you do that during the video or maybe you can comment that can you watch the video and go to the community page that would be nice if you can write it down in the comments i have no idea so there are a quizy to ask you what do you prefer as 1k follower giveaway so join that of course you have to follow to do that you have also to follow to win it so follow and now we jump to the thrust stand so welcome on the thrust stand i will show you the different parts before we do the actual measurements to explain the, the different parts, what they are doing and the most important thing, how is the thrust to be measured actually in this thing. I will jump from this overhead cam 
to my little Sony here. So we are on the Sony now. I have installed here my little DJI Action 2. We have to be fast because it's overheating really, really fast. I have a little fan here to cool it, but we have to really fast. It's not made for such things in high resolution. So if you thought about buying it, I have to say that it's not the best cam for longer videos at home. But back to the thrust stand. You see here the, the stand itself. This is for protection. I printed it in PETG Carbon X. So it should be really robust if a prop explodes. I'm also wearing safety glasses later. Then we have of course the motor, a prop and this silver bar I come later in more detail because there is where the magic happens. In the, oh let me put this aside, in this or orange box is where the the magic not really happens there. The magic happens at these aluminium bar here and the sensors attached to the bar but then it goes inside of the box there is an amplifier to amplify the signal from the sensors to get more precision more resolution then it goes into an Arduino in my case it's a Nano there is attached a little display you can see we have now one gram we have this little tar button here. If we push it, you see it resets to zero grams. On the back side is only an on off switch and the 5 volt from the power supply goes into the box. For the motor, of course, we have an ESC. I'm using an old Simon K 30 amp ESC. So, that I don't need my my RC radio and a an, receiver etc. I'm using this now focus come on I'm using this servo tester now it's a servo tester really cheap device there I can adjust the throttle so these are the main components and now I explain you a little bit more in detail this silver bar because that is where the magic happens you see these two holes with these two holes there is not much material left of the whole bar and that is the magic because if we are applying a force up or down it works in both directions I can show that to you if I push down you can see it's going up in numbers huh? up and if we lift that's what we are doing later with the props it goes into minus huh? focus come on huh? you see I push it up it goes into minus so how is this working because the the aluminium bar bends this little bending is picked up by these sensors with the wires going inside to the amplifier module and from there it's simply a DC voltage we can read with the Arduino we can calculate it at zero and we are doing a specific weight let me say a glass of water where you know the weight 100 gram 200 gram 150 gram and then it's a simple calculation you put this into your code and then you have actual readout here so that's how it is working and now it's time to do some measurements before I do that, let me unscrew the prop to, to show you the precision 
of this mechanism. So, I stopped recording on the Sony cam and we have this top cam still running. Oh, I love my Bosch tool. I link it down in the description. This is really awesome, especially for drone props for the nuts. You just have to push here and then it screws or unscrews. Or, of course, you can push the button here. But most of the time I'm just pushing and then it screws. Uh, you can adjust the torque. I set it here, not to max, that's more for drilling. You see here this screw, that's how I set it for my prop nuts. And I never had a loose prop nut again. So, let me show you the precision. So, from the Sony cam again, you now see we are at zero. Now focus, come on. So we have zero thrust and if I remove the nut, only the nut, you see we are at minus one. So precise is this. And now we are attaching this prop and can see that it is three gram. Don't forget the nut. Four gram, of course, one gram. So I will tighten up the nut and then we jump into the live action. So, so, okay, nut is tighten. I bring back here the the DJI. Turn it on. So we turn on the power. We are at, let me adjust it to 14 or we go to 16. That's 4S. So turn on the EC. Turn on the DJI. The action cam. Reset our prop, so we are at zero, and now we are ready. Prop free. Oh, that's good, that's almost one amp. So we are at one amp now, exactly one amp at 16 volts that's of course 16 watt and we are doing 55 56 grams of thrust and you can hear that this prop runs really smooth let me turn it off so this prop runs really smooth i have another one and that is again a thing you want to check before you go flight is is the prop balanced this one was really good it was there was no vibration let me turn off let me switch the prop for you just a second okay we switched the prop you see 
it is two gram heavier this prop no? two gram so this prop weight is two gram more than the two plate now turn on the power and I'm sure you will hear it I turn it up to one amp oh yeah not sure you can hear it but I can feel it but there are a lot of vibrations and you see you also see my tester is, is floating here with the vibrations and you see that this prop makes less thrust at the same amp. Oh, let me turn this off. This is shaking. Jesus. So we have to balance this prop and that is maybe a different video. If you want to see how to balance props Please write it down in the comments and we do a video. So that's for the thrust stand. Let me go back to the, the big face cam. Let us talk about costs. Yes, professional stands can measure much more, but as I explained earlier, my main goal was to measure thrust, and that is what it's doing really precise if i do three in a row the same voltage amp the readout is plus minus one gram so precise is this working absolutely fine for me about the costs this HX711, that's the name of this aluminium bar with, I have, I bought one with one kilo. There are others with two, five, ten, twenty kilos and maybe even more. I have bought one with this little amplifier PCB included because you need that to get this precision. I bought it at Amazon. It was around 15, 20 bucks, as I remember. I needed an Arduino Nano. I had one, but they are around three to five bucks. The display I had also, let me tell, a display seven to eight euros. Of course, you need a little bit of filament. Maybe you have an old ESC you can use. Um, an older motor you can use you don't need super big uh, motors to measure the thrust or maybe okay if you want to measure your powertrain your whole powertrain but then also the one kilo bar is is not enough for you then buy a 10 kilo or whatever and please don't try 10 kilo on my 3d printed parts it's fine for the one kilo it scares me every time i normally don't do full throttle measurements i have done that yes be careful i also wearing all the time safety classes please do that too so we have the printed parts, the the bar, the measure bar itself, the motor, etc. I think we have it. A little a few things like a, a barrel plug, an on-off switch, the push button on the front, small things. Let me add this and then we are about 35 euros or so. So that was really cheap and you don't have to spend the time in front of your cat software because i already did it so enjoy it please if you built it and enjoy it write it down in the comments i would love to see it hear from you hope you enjoy it stay safe stay healthy 
Sandor here, DM40S. Bye. See you in the next one.